Have you ever been approached by a petitioner on TCC's campus? My name is Molly Jones, and I'm the executive editor of The Talon, TCC's newspaper. Recently, The Talon staff and I decided that we wanted to go out and do an investigative report on the several petitioners on campus. Keep watching to see the several clips of us talking to students and even some petitioners. And stay tuned until the end to see what we concluded. So I do have a few questions about your um, petition. We have had a few people come to the Talon um, kind of complaining about petitioners, not you necessarily, um, saying that sometimes they feel some of the petitioners on campus will be a little bit aggressive when they don't want to sign a petition or whatnot. But at the Talon, we support free speech. We support standing up for things that um, potentially need a change. So I wanted to give you a chance to tell the whole school why we should come and sign your petition. Because it's for a good cause. And what's that cause? Creating thousands of jobs for a lot of people unemployed in Florida. Do you think it's important for students to fully understand what they're signing before they sign it? Yes, 100%. What's your name? Marvin. My name is Marvin Hughes. Sophia. Teresa. I'm Nick. I'm Brandon. Wesley Jordan. Matt. So at the Talon, we have heard quite a few complaints about the several petitioners around campus. And I was just wondering what your opinion was on that and if you had any uh, experiences with petitioners on campus. It was definitely worse in like the beginning, like the beginning of the semester. But I would say now it's not as much. But you couldn't even like walk, go walk to any classes without seeing someone trying to come up to you and ask you to assign something. But personally, I don't mind like, you know, one or two people coming up to ask me. But it would be like probably like four or five people every time I like step onto the campus. You know, you, you wouldn't want to do that every single time, you know, but. I mean, I think it's kind of annoying when you're trying to get to class they and they like chase day. after you. They can't really leave you alone. They can't like, no, they just don't take no for an answer. They can be kind of annoying at times. Um, personally, it, it is kind of bothersome, but what really kind of gets me is half the time, I don't even know what I'm really petitioning for. Uh, they'll just hand you a clipboard and tell you what it's about, but not a lot of times I'm knowledgeable on what I'm really signing for and I'd like to do a little bit more research on it. I'd appreciate more of like a pamphlet. Yeah, I've been stopped by a lot of them. I'd say honestly, you probably shouldn't be like asking college kids who probably have no idea what that petition is even about, like these things, especially because not many of them may even know what they're signing for. They, they could be completely against it. So that's just my opinion on it. I don't really mind people going around and asking for things. I generally just avoid them even it means if it means taking the long path i think they could be a little aggressive but at the end of the day you know i feel like they're doing it for a good purpose so you know you can't really blame them were any petitioners ever pushy towards you when you did not want to sign their petition right i would say i would say if you were pushy yes they they kind of just pressure you on the spot whether you should sign or not and half the time i'm i'm almost late for class so it's either i sign it or i i look like you know kind of rude and just leave or not even pay attention to them. Has any petitioner ever took the time to thoroughly explain to you what you would be signing? No, usually just a very brief overview, which is usually very misleading as well. They never have, but to be fair, I've never really asked. So, Do you think these petitioners are beneficial to TCC's learning environment? I wouldn't say they're beneficial, but they're not like entirely disruptive either because it's only like, you know, kids in between classes, but uh, it's definitely probably something that you shouldn't be asking college kids to sign because they probably have no idea what like any of these petitions are for. No, no. Nothing to do with it. I guess it, it depends on how you look at it. Um, if you take the time to ask and you learn. So, you know, in that case, it could be beneficial. But I just feel like if you just go and sign just to get it out the way, then it's not really beneficial. At the Talon, we support freedom of speech and we support standing up for something that needs to change. But as a higher institute of learning, we also support all of us making informed decisions. And unfortunately, after speaking to hundreds of students and several petitioners, we still have no clue on what is being petitioned and what is being advocated for. We were never given an adequate amount of information to really know. So don't sign anything that you don't fully understand. And don't let anybody harass you or bully you into putting your name on a paper that you don't want to put down. Just because somebody says that it's for a good cause does not always mean it's for a good cause. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.